continuing the Chevy Cobalt LS to SS swap. And the next thing I'm going to do is start preparing to remove the engine. I'm going to remove the front bumper, headlights, grill, radiator, uh, everything associated with it. Um, and, uh, and then the starter and intake. And then just start unbolting the torque converter. Exhaust manifold and it should be ready to unbolt the engine and pull Still has a lot of residual damage from the front crash But I'll repair all that before I start putting it all together Take manifold. Okay, the starter bolt takes a uh, 13 millimeter. Okay, and this uh, wire right here um, is the positive that goes straight to your alternator. So I'm going to remove that as well. And disconnect this wire right here, that sensor, and then this one down here, just give myself some more room to remove the starter. starter takes a 15 millimeter for the bolts you can remove this uh, when you're replacing the starter by itself uh, without having to remove the intake manifold um, you just get underneath the car and it's pretty easy this is your blind bolt you can't really see it but it's pretty easy to feel around Now I'm going to go get a, a, a pry bar and start removing the bolts for the, um, the flywheel to the torque converter. All right, that takes an 18 millimeter. All right, removing the top engine bolt by the starter, which is an 18 millimeter. Next one right below the starter.
is another 18 millimeter. Okay, that's one of the long ones. Alright, the heat shield has three 13 millimeter bolts holding it on. Uh, most of the time the studs come out with it, with the bolts. So you really should use a 13 millimeter deep socket. And then we have to get an extension. There are two um, 18 millimeter bolts on top of the engine, connecting the engine to the transmission. One here, one there. Top engine to transmission bolt. Top back engine mount. All right, that's all the bolts I can get to from, uh, from on the top of the engine. So when I get ready to pull it, all I have to do is remove the top engine mount, the back engine bolts. And there's a really long hidden one or two long hidden ones on the back. And then it should come right out. I noticed that transmission housing in the accident was completely busted. Actually, I didn't notice that last time. Kind of stopped working on this thing. I realized the engine was uh, was gone. So we do have an extra transmission housing. I might just switch everything over.